Welcome back here on your Wednesday afternoon. We take a look at the headlines for the next seven days. Temps heading back up. It was still brisk out there today, but a lot better than it was yesterday, losing those really strong winds. Your Easter weekend for a change looks pretty average right now, about where we'd expect to be. I think overall it's going to be pretty comfortable. We are watching early next week, especially Monday, for our next weather maker that's going to be moving its way into the region. Now the question really with this system is the strength of it. Is this going to move through as kind of an open wave of low pressure, which would bring us a chance of moisture, but would be pretty minimal? Or do we see it strengthen, close off, takes a little bit longer to move through, it's a little stronger, and it brings us a little more in the way of precipitation. That's what we're really going to be sorting through over the next several days. But we're targeting overnight Sunday and especially during the day Monday for our next real chance at moisture moving in. We got some minor chances that are going to try to kind of scatter about this seven day forecast. In fact, out there right now on Viper radar, we've got, you know, maybe a few sprinkles. Okay, there's a little bit of a wind shift, a little boundary that's coming through here this afternoon. And with the way the temps are, it's just enough to get a little bit of lift in the atmosphere and maybe a few sprinkles out there to the west. Here's a look over Broken Bow, though, with our NTV Vieira Wireless Camera Network for now clear skies, but some clouds are about to move through. You look at the temps as we go through the hour by hour forecast. What should stand out here is how much warmer it is going to be compared to what you dealt with overnight last night into this morning. How cold did it get? Four in Ainsworth. That's how cold it got overnight. Kearney, Broken Bow, dipped down to 13. Nine was the low in Albion. Yes, it was warmer when you headed out the door for most of you earlier this morning, but overnight, those temps, they really bottomed out. So you look at what's out there right now, it got up to 50. In Lexington, 56 in Imperial. Grand Island hit 47, 48 in Lincoln. That's a pretty healthy climb compared to where we were during the overnight hours. Southwest winds just a touch breezy at 15 to 20. A little stronger than I was anticipating last night, but uh, not as bad as what we were dealing with there Sunday into Monday. So we look at our future cast here. Again, some cloud cover drifting its way through. That should dissipate. One thing that we may have to watch for, especially up north, could see a little bit of patchy fog as we melt off that snow. That could be an issue the next couple of mornings. But overall, your Thursday will hold a nice little warm up, maybe just a touch on the breezy side. 29 for the low tonight in the Tri Cities. Maybe some hit or miss fog. I think better chances will be north and a whole lot warmer than it was last night. 59 for the high as we get into your Thursday. Should be a beautiful day. Winds kicking up just a bit. Tomorrow night, how about 37? That is a dramatic improvement in those low temps. Tonight won't be too bad. Most of us will be in the upper 20s and high temps tomorrow. Hey, we could be pushing 60 in a lot of areas. In fact, mid 60s out in the western part of the state. And your seven day forecast as we see, you know, temps coming down a bit, but Easter weekend, mid 50s, that is very average, very normal. Again, we kind of keep an eye on Monday for that storm system to come through, but could be back in the mid 60s by Wednesday of next week. Those 60s look good. Oh, it was amazing how nice today felt. I agree. And it's